wanted to tell you that one of our problems is we don't know why we go to church. This is a main problem. Why do you go to church? This is a serious, serious problem, even today. You say you go to church to fellowship. So your fellowship happens only on Sunday. Why do you go to church? Can you see we have got the Bible, we go to church, but we don't know the reason why. And this, the second problem is, we don't know why we are filled by the Holy Spirit. Ask your neighbor, why are you filled by the Holy Spirit? Say, answer me. Can you see Christianity is very difficult to you? You don't even know why you are filled by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, how will you know Holy Spirit? How will you know Holy Spirit? You don't even know. You know, I don't understand why we call ourselves Christians today. Can you ask your neighbor, why are you a Christian? The answer, say answer me. Can you see that there are many answers you can answer? Huh? All right. Who told you that you are a Christian? You are not a Christian, but you are active in the church. You see, when I preach, I am active. I am active. You are an elder in the church, but you are not a Christian. If you are a Christian, your activities always will increase what you have done yesterday. You will do it better tomorrow. Tell your neighbor, what you have done yesterday, if you are a Christian, you will do it better tomorrow. Some of you are in the desert. You're not ready to go. In the desert, you are turning around. Turning around like this. Because there's too much in your mind. Can I go back to Egypt? Can I go to Kenya? Can I go are you ready to go? Are you sure? Look at your neighbor. If it's you go to Kenya, you see. Are you ready to go? Are you to go? Are you to go? Are you ready 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 to go? Are you in other words, the things of here cannot move you. The things of here cannot move you. If you are a Christian, things of here moving you, something is wrong. If you are a Christian, your life is hidden above with God. I don't know if you are hearing me. Therefore, even your mind is where? With the things of God. That is why we are still sinning. That's why sin is still preached. We're not supposed to be preaching sin. We're supposed to be preaching the love of God. Tell about we're not supposed to be preaching sin. But we're supposed to be preaching the love of God. The reason why today we preach sin is because People are in sin, but they are in the church. And what makes them not to represent Christ is the sin when they are in the church, but they are active. They can sing in the church. They can lift up their hands. If you read Isaiah 1, the Bible says, when you lift up your hands, I will hide my face. Because of their sin. Christians can be busy with the activities in the church, but they are not going home. 
We need to be very careful. We are in the last days. Ask your neighbor, are you ready to go? And how many years left? You don't know. If you are given one week, you will be serious. If you are given one year, what about ten years? If you are given one week, two days, you will be praying the whole day. Isn't it? If you are given ten years, so in other words, time to you, whereas the Bible says one day is equal to what? One thousand years. Our Christianity is based in fear. On fear. Even when we pray, we pray because of fear. Whatever we are doing, fear. Our Christianity is based on fear. If I don't pray, I will lose the job. What if I don't pray, I won't wake up in the morning? Our Christianity is not based in the issue of going home. It's based on what? Fear. Even when you want something, you want to show, you want to show someone that you are a Christian. You know why I'm a pastor? I must pray too much, otherwise I will lose the church. Fear. It's not based that you are going home. Okay, okay oh, I want to pray, I want to pray, I want to go for fasting. January, I want to go for fasting. Many people today, they are in fasting now, in January. If you ask them, why are you fasting? Fear. They are fearing the whole year. They are fearing this February. There is, there is much. I'm sure you hear what I'm trying to say. Eh? Ask your neighbor, why do you pray? And answer your neighbor. And why are you thin like this? I mean, why are you thin like this? Because after all, you are going to die. I was telling Mama, I said, me, I want to eat everything. Because even if I don't eat, I will die one day. Even if I slim, I will die. And if I slim, I will make these people easy. I mean, to carry my coffin now. I want people who have carried my coffin to feel that this man was eating. <laughs> you don't want to eat. You are eating uh, things you, you want to stay slim. But you are going to die. Your focus is fear. If I eat too much, I will have high blood. If I eat too much, I will have this. Yeah? Everything is fear. The more you get too much knowledge of this world, it brings fear to you. Okay, let me give you knowledge of this, this God. Let me give you knowledge. Up in the script.